What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Robin Hood episode number 8. It's a weekend right now. Got to be the end of January. And today's video is just what I think the moves are for Monday and the coming week approaching us right now. And you know, Friday was, it was a bad day for me. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't see no gains nowhere. And if you're looking at my screen right now, my my two puts for GameStop came crashing down. Value's like nothing at this point. And so, yeah, so this is this is what I'm thinking for Monday. And of course, this is my own opinion based off of no research whatsoever. And so I think the moves for Monday are GameStop and AMC. And the reason for this, you know, just looking at Twitter and Red or yeah, Reddit, from what I barely seen on there, GameStop still going to the moon, short squeeze. Um, their fuel is firing right now. All the you know pushback from Robinhood and all these hedge funds or whatever else are, is really fueling the fire right now for them. And I think. GameStop by the end of the week is going to be five to six hundreds at least if there's none of that, you know, limited buying stuff going on still. And I don't think I don't think they're going to do that next week after all the stuff that went down these past couple of days of uh, this past week. And so, yeah, GameStop, I think still the move is going to shoot to the moon still. It's not even close to where the potential for it is, at least right now. And my two puts. I'm gonna try and sell it for at least a thousand dollar value if I can. If not, then I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. But like I said, I didn't really care about the money I put into GameStop. It was just for funsies, as I like to say. And yeah, so if I manage to get my value to a thousand, I'm gonna dip out of there real quick. And honestly, the money's probably gonna go into AMC if I can get that money. And the reason why I pick these two, mainly Reddit, where I see people talking about it the most is GameStop and AMC for the short squeeze, shooting it to the moon, the nostalgia of the two companies, you know, Blackberry and Nokia, those are really based on the earnings call coming up, you know, Nokia, that's the one I put a lot more money into for future calls right now, actually, I got uh, I can't remember what it is. I'll look at it here in a second. But yeah, AMC and BlackBerry mainly for earnings whenever they come up and for the things that they're going to be doing here in the future. Like Nokia's got the 5G, possible 6G stuff going on. Talking about having 5G or whatever on the moon. This and that. I don't know. They got a contract with NASA here. And so yeah, the earnings for Nokia should really help the stock shoot up. And Blackberry, I still don't really know too much about Blackberry, but I I assume it's kind of like the same thing, the kind of news behind it, very undervalued stock, just like Nokia. And then the fifth one, I don't know if we could count it, but Doge, there's so many things I can say about Doge right now, but I don't think that's the move anymore. Doge, for the most part, is like, uh, it's like a every once in a while, They'll have that little run and momentum and then, you know, disappear off the face of the earth for a, a few weeks. At least lately it has. And then it'll just come back again, do a little run, and then it'll disappear. Come back, do a little run, disappear. But the fact that it's still holding kind of strong, I think it was at three cents when I looked at it last, is very promising for all these people that might be bag holders right now. Like people that have nothing to do with stocks and just all the hype about it, and all these, um, returns that people have been posting and kind of just jumped on in when it was like seven or eight cents and now they're like what just happened kind of like a wake-up call for them kind of sucks that you know they, they jumped into the hype at the wrong time for the most part but who knows it might shoot back up here again soon you never know with doge but so gamestop it had a good day on friday compared to thursday at least went up 131 dollars on friday and yeah, I still think it's going to keep on shooting. Shooting myself in the foot still for selling my two calls that I had that were $77 strike. But that's beyond the point now. 
And so next up, AMC is what I was talking about. I got I got my seven shares of it. Total return down 14 bucks. I really don't care too much. I only put, I think it was like 120 bucks. I don't know what it was. Well, must've been like 122. And so AMC, like I said, that's the one I'm gonna be shooting for. Buy some stock of it, buy some more calls, or buy some calls, I don't have any calls yet. And hopefully they don't restrict it again. I'm still on Robinhood, I don't know where I'm gonna switch off to just yet. Yeah, you know, I want something that's got an easy interface so I can do it on my phone real simply, like I do it with Robinhood. And I don't want any commission fees or nothing like that, so I don't want to go to a you know, a big, big name brokerage like Fidelity or something, because I've seen the user interface on that, it doesn't look doesn't look very friendly in my opinion on what I've seen. So probably not Fidelity for sure. And I don't even know about Ameritrade either. I think it's kind of like the same situation there as well. And they don't have the free commission from what I understand on options. But yeah, AFC looks like the move. We go to Blackberry. I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos, I don't really know too much about Blackberry, but everyone still talks about it. Uh, they did a bad day on Friday. Went down 55 cents and then another four and after hours. What's their earnings? Let's see. Uh, their earnings ain't for a while, so I don't know what the move is on that one. I'm just going to keep on moving to my baby girl Nokia. And Nokia had a horrible day Friday. I mean, it started off real good. It was back in the $5 range and then I guess those big hedge funds just dropped it back down to what it used to be well not really because it's still higher than it used to be but they dropped it down total return right now is down two grand again this money that i'm putting into it i really don't care too much about it's honestly it's just my tesla money that i made because i made like 15 grand off of tesla so i just find that as my meme money for the most part because tesla i don't even want to start talking about tesla but that's where this money is coming from that i'm just throwing around right now like like it's nothing, but still high hopes for it. So what I was saying, I got nine March calls and 14 July calls. So I'm in Nokia for the long run. Like I was saying, their earnings is coming up very, very soon here, February 4th, which is, let's see, next or this coming Thursday. So high expectations for it. I don't know if it's going to have a good earnings call or not, but I guess only time can tell. Hopefully it'll rally up this coming week if there's no limitations on the buying again. And that's that. And then last but not least, Dogecoin. And the reason, I uh, see it went back down below three cents. And the reason I'm saying that about Dogecoin, I'm not being biased at all. As you can see, I got 95,000 coins and I mean, I'm even up right now, two grand. Um, so it's not, I'm not being biased by what I say. I still got my, I got skin in the game right now. But I've been holding Doge for, I think it was like December of 2020. I bought it at the 0 .0044 per share. So, I mean, my money's safe. Like, I don't see it going below that 0044 anytime soon. If it does, I'm just going to buy more. As simple as that for me. And... I mean, the fact that the first run that it did when it hit almost two cents, um, it stayed pretty steady about at a penny and up until this next run. And so if it stays steady around two to three cents, then Dogecoin is looking good for me and maybe even you guys too, depending on what your average is. But for the people that you know, jumped on the hype, I don't know what you bought it at, but you might be needing to average down or just get out of it while you still can. Make it a little, get a little bit of your money back before it's too late on it. Yeah, so yeah, that's my moves for this coming week. Jump into AMC mostly, get out of my puts for GME and hold steady on Nokia. Maybe buy some actual shares of it here soon. And I'll probably get to sell out of some of my other stuff that I've been holding for a while. I'm just waiting on a nice green day to come around town. So it's not like all these losses and my profits that I'm taking right now these past few days. I think once this stimulus stuff comes out, it might not make a difference on the market, but 
in theory it should boost it up just a little bit since fourteen hundred dollars per person and then I don't, I don't even know what it is for dependents and all that stuff but you know it's a hefty amount compared to the, the initial 600 i think it was that came out so it's it might do a little damage to the market in a good way looking at twitter trending there's nothing in terms of stock stock market dogecoin nothing like i said dogecoin is i'm saying it's dead right now it always has that hype for a little bit and then it just disappears and nobody cares about it except for the people that stay day trading cryptocurrency and i think the main thing that stopped its momentum like usual is robin hood messing everything up they weren't allowing uh deposits into cryptocurrency at some point of the run and then when you tried to buy it they wouldn't place all the orders or execute them it is a whole mess it's you know it's typical robin hood stuff that they always do so once they get their shit together you know things might get better but i don't see that happening we'll we'll have to wait and see but you know if you watch that interview with the ceo he doesn't look like he cares about what the public's saying about robin hood but just when they wait for their ipo to happen and it's going to get shorted like crazy and that's why I want to get out before it, just in case something happens to it. To it, and you know, I want to get my money out of there because I ain't trying to lose it like that. So let me know what you guys think of what I'm I'm expecting for the coming week. Let me know what your guys' plays are gonna be, what your moves are, what you're thinking of doing, and I will see you guys in the next video.